Hi, I'm Jamie Adams. I'm a movement disorder specialist here at the University of Rochester. I'm going to be doing a telemedicine visit with one of my Parkinson's disease patients today. So the history and exam will be largely focused on Parkinson's disease. I'm hoping you'll learn something, particularly from the physical exam, um, where we have to make some subtle changes in telemedicine because there's things that we can't do um, over the computer that you can do in person. So hopefully this will be a really good learning experience for everyone. Hi, Ms. Flanagan, how are you today? I'm fine, how are you, Dr. Adam? I'm great. Are you still in Florida or? Oh no, we're still up north. We're um, still in Casanova near Syracuse. Are you going to Florida soon? Hopefully. So I saw you over the computer about six months ago um, in yeah. May and we didn't make any medication changes or other changes at that time. No, we did not. How have things been since, that, since then? Um, pretty much the same. One small problem. I had a lot of problem with sciatica this summer. Okay. But I don't know if that was Parkinson related or not. Has that gotten better? Yes, it has gotten better. Um, it's, it's pretty, um, pretty much gone now. Okay. Um, and how about your Parkinson's symptoms? Um, I'd say it's the same, the same. Okay. Tremor? Actually, that's, a, that's been pretty good. Not bothersome at all? No, no, that's, that's never been my main issue, but no, not bothersome. Okay. And then um, how about your walking and your balance? I know the last time we talked, you had had a fall and, and broke your ankle, but um, any other falls or? Uh, no other falls. Um, still having some issues walking a little bit. My left leg um, drags a little bit, legs, which you'll probably see when you have me walk. Okay. Are you exercising at all? I am. I'm, I try to do something every day. I did Tai Chi all summer. That was interesting. Okay. That's good. And um, balance... Does the left leg cause you problems with balance or? Um, my balance is okay. I haven't fallen, I'm, but I'm really, really, really careful. Okay. Okay. And then for your medications, I have the, you still do the Pramipexol, the one milligram three times a day? Yes. And that, the times I have for that are around 6, 11, and 4.30? I change the times. Okay. Um, 6, 10, and uh, 2.30 to 3. Was there a reason for that? Yeah, I felt like, it felt like I was getting too much off time. Okay. And this works better for me. Um, and, and how about off time now? Did that get better? It did get better. Um, I, I also take around 8 o'clock at night. I take a half of a extended release. Carbidopa, levodopa. And so in the evening, symptoms are okay? You don't notice that you're slowing down or? I do a little bit, but it doesn't matter so much in the evening. Okay. It, it, it's not a, occasionally I might take an extra um, carbidopa, levodopa, but not, not very often. Okay, that's okay to do that if you need to do that, if like you're going out or something. Well, exactly, if I'm going out and want to. Because it might be a long time between the 2.30 and when you, when you go to bed. Yeah, yeah, it is. But I'm trying to keep the dose, the amount I take to a, a minimum. I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, how about the nighttime symptoms? I know you had had some, some problems overnight. Is that long acting helping? It does. It does help. And I also found a long acting uh, melatonin. It's okay. an extended release. Um, Nature's Bounty makes it. And that helps too. Okay. And sleeping. I've lowered my expectations. Is sleeping okay or are you still struggling? Um, if I can get seven hours, I'm okay. And mm, maybe three quarters of the time I, I do. Then. Some nights I don't, it just, just happens. Okay, but it sounds like a little bit better. I think it's a little bit better okay. or else I've gotten used to it. 
Yeah. <laughs> any problems with your, your speech or any problems swallowing? No. Okay. Um, how about constipation? It's manageable. It's always an issue in the background, um, but it's manageable. You still do the stool softeners if you need to? I do. I do. Yep. Fairly, fairly frequently. Okay. Um, any urinary problems? No, except for getting up at night. But... Okay. And um, any lightheadedness when you stand up? Nope. Um, and, uh, sorry, back to sleeping. You don't shout out or thrash around in sleep, correct? Uh, no, no, I don't have that. Okay. Any um, problems with your mood, any depression or anxiety? Um, not noticeably. Okay. And then how about changes in thinking or memory? I know you've told me that memory is not as good as it used to be, but any, anything major? Not, not major that I can discern. Um, nothing, nothing that's so armed to me, let me put it that way. Okay. And then just, um, so with the current regimen you have, not much wearing off, maybe a little in the evenings, but other than that. Yeah. Okay. But I go to bed early, so. Okay. And um, any nausea? No. Any dyskinesias or wiggly movements? No. Any hallucinations? Not yet. Okay. Any falling asleep out of the blue, suddenly falling asleep? Yeah, uh, at night in the chair I do. Okay, okay. Um, but not if you're like talking or engaging. Uh, no, 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 nothing like that. Any, um, Impulsive behaviors, so shopping, compulsively um, cleaning. No, I'm a little better about cleaning than I used to be, but no, nothing. Okay, okay. And then how about any swelling in your legs? No. You know what I do have that bothers me is dry mouth. Is that from the meds, do you think? Uh, it can be. Um, it can be due to, I don't know what other meds are on too, but a lot of medications can contribute yeah. to that. Um, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not horrible, but it's annoying. Okay. Um, and then I know you've had melanoma in the past. Are you still getting the skin checks? Yeah, every six months I go to the dermatologist. And that's all checked out okay? So far, so good. Knock on wood. Okay. All right, good. So things sound pretty stable. So far, so good. I am hold my own. So I'm going to do um, an exam now, okay? So first I want you to do, I want you to um, not move your head, just move your eyes. Look to the right for me. And look to the left. Look up. And look down. And then you can look forward. I want you to close your eyes nice and tight. And open wide. And smile for me real big. <laughs> And then stick out your tongue. Okay. And then can you shrug your shoulders for me? Good. And then I want you to repeat after me. Can you say today is a sunny day? Today is what? A sunny day. Oh, okay. Today is a sunny day. No ifs, ands, or buts. No ifs, ands, or buts. The train came into the station over an hour late. The train came into the station over an hour late. Okay, I just want you with your right hand to take your index finger and your thumb and tap as big and fast as you can. Okay, keep going for me. Okay, and then do the same thing with your left hand. Okay, and then with your right hand, I want you to make a fist and open and close all the way open and close big and fast as you can. Okay, and then same with your left hand. Okay, and then I want you to hold your arms up out in front of you. 
And with your right, I want you to flip back and forth for me, all the way over and all the way back. Good, and same with your left arm. Okay, and then if I can see your feet. Okay, do you want me to move the camera or have my husband? If we can have your husband, if he's, if he's around. Yes, he is. Jack? Yeah. You're on call. Let's turn it around here. To see my feet. Yeah, we could see sort of chest down, that would be, but all the way to the feet, so I can see her feet. So a little bit further back. That's good, okay. And now um, with your right foot, I want you to put your heel on the ground and just tap your toes for me. Okay, same thing with the left. Okay, and then with your right leg, you can keep your knee bent, and I want you to tap your heel on the ground. So lift up your leg and tap your heel. Perfect. Okay, and then same with the left. Good. Okay. Now what I need you to do is um, bring the camera back up, but I want to be able to see your hands resting in your lap. And then just um, close your eyes for me and count backwards from 30 to 1. 30, 29, 28, Okay, good. Yeah, I don't see any tremor today. Um, and then uh, one more time, I want you to lift your arms up and just hold them up for me. So, yep, so I can see the tips of your fingers. And then if we can move the camera back just a little bit, I want you to take your index finger mm -hmm. and touch your nose and then just go back and forth just with your index finger, yep. Okay, and then same with the left. Great. Okay, now what I want you to do is you're going to cross your arms and stand up for me. Okay, and then if I can watch you walk a little bit, I know you said you had a little path. Yeah. You can put your arms down and just walk normal. Oh, okay. Are we still good? That's perfect. Just do a couple couple laps for me. Okay. Let me get my camera man down here. I'll turn it. Oops, that's far enough. Yeah, if you can stay there and then um Miss Lanigan, if you can just walk back and forth from him into that. Yep. Small path. And do one more for me. Sure. Okay. And you can go back and have a seat. Do you feel like your left foot turns in at all? Um, there's something abnormal about it. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. Does that does that get better with the medication? Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, Good. Okay. Yeah, the left foot's always been a problem. Um, that's why I first noticed it. And it, it lags, and it just turns in a little bit too. Okay. Um, so you're, you're, I meant to ask, so you're still doing the one tab of the Carbidopa, leave it open, the 25-100, right? Yes. So it's one and one? Okay. 
So I, I think if, if you feel like things are going well, we can leave things the same. That being said, again, if you need, if you need to take a tab in the evening, mm -hmm. I think that's fine to take of the carbidopa levodopa. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. Yeah, I'm satisfied um, So you come up with a cure. Yeah, <laughs> working on it, right? Are you um, and uh, exercise. Yeah. Yeah, I've been a little bit remiss lately. Um, my daughter's got me signed up to write a novel, so um, I've taken my spare time, but I, I'm determined to keep exercising. What kind of novel? Uh, it's this, this program where you write 50,000 words in one month, NaNoWriMo. Never heard of it? No, um, but... No, well, well, it's just a novel about small town life. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. I hope so. Well, hopefully, the you know, you'll get to Florida and then be able to get outside more. And maybe. That would help. That would help, too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, it was so great to see you, and I'm glad you're doing so well. I'll see you again in six months, okay? All right. Enjoy okay. your holidays. Good to see you. Yep, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay.